The laws of science, also called scientific laws or scientific principles, are statements that describe or predict a range of natural phenomena. Each scientific law is a statement based on repeated experimental observations that describe some aspect of the universe. The term law has diverse usage in many cases approximate, accurate, broad, or narrow theories across all fields of natural science physics, chemistry, biology, geology, astronomy, etc. Scientific laws summarize and explain a large collection of facts determined by experiment, and are tested based on their ability to predict the results of future experiments. They are developed either from facts or through mathematics, and are strongly supported by empirical evidence. It is generally understood that they reflect causal relationships fundamental to reality, and are discovered rather than invented. Laws reflect scientific knowledge that experiments have repeatedly verified and never falsified. Their accuracy does not change when new theories are worked out, but rather the scope of application, since the equation if any, representing the law does not change. As with other scientific knowledge, they do not have absolute certainty as mathematical theorems or identities do, and it is always possible for a law to be overturned by future observations. A law can usually be formulated as one or several statements or equations, so that it can be used to predict the outcome of an experiment, given the circumstances of the processes taking place. Laws differ from hypotheses and postulates, which are proposed during the scientific process before and during validation by experiment and observation. Hypotheses and postulates are not laws since they have not been verified to the same degree and may not be sufficiently general, although they may lead to the formulation of laws. A law is a more solidified and formal statement, distilled from repeated experiment. Laws are narrower in scope than scientific theories, which may contain one or several laws. Science distinguishes a law or theory from facts. Calling a law a fact is ambiguous, an overstatement, or an equivocation. Although the nature of a scientific law is a question in philosophy and although scientific laws describe nature mathematically, scientific laws are practical conclusions reached by the scientific method, they are intended to be neither laden with ontological commitments nor statements of logical absolutes. According to the Unity of Science thesis, all scientific laws follow fundamentally from physics. Laws which occur in other sciences ultimately follow from physical laws. Often, from mathematically fundamental viewpoints, universal constants emerge from a scientific law. Overview A scientific law always applies under the same conditions, and implies that there is a causal relationship involving its elements. Factual and well-confirmed statements like, "...mercury is liquid at standard temperature and pressure," are considered too specific to qualify as scientific laws. A central problem in the philosophy of science, going back to David Hume, is that of distinguishing causal relationships such as those implied by laws from principles that arise due to constant conjunction. Laws differ from scientific theories in that they do not posit a mechanism or explanation of phenomena, they are merely distillations of the results of repeated observation. As such, a law is limited in applicability to circumstances resembling those already observed, and may be found false when extrapolated. Ohm's law only applies to linear networks, Newton's law of universal gravitation only applies in weak gravitational fields, the early laws of aerodynamics such as Bernoulli's principle do not apply in case of compressible flow such as occurs in transonic and supersonic flight, Hooke's law only applies to strain below the elastic limit, etc. These laws remain useful, but only under the conditions where they apply. Many laws take mathematical forms, and thus can be stated as an equation, for example, the law of conservation of energy can be written as delta E equals zero displaystyle delta E equals zero, where E is the total amount of energy in the universe. Similarly, the first law of thermodynamics can be written as D U equals delta Q minus delta W display style mathrm d u equals delta Q delta W. The term scientific law is traditionally associated with the natural sciences, though the social sciences also contain laws. An example of a scientific law in social sciences is Ziff's law. 
Like theories and hypotheses, laws make predictions specifically, they predict that new observations will conform to the law, and can be falsified if they are found in contradiction with new data. Conservation laws Conservation and symmetry Most significant laws in science are conservation laws. These fundamental laws follow from homogeneity of space, time and phase, in other words symmetry. Noether's theorem, any quantity which has a continuous differentiable symmetry in the action has an associated conservation law. Conservation of mass was the first law of this type to be understood, since most macroscopic physical processes involving masses, for example collisions of massive particles or fluid flow, provide the apparent belief that mass is conserved. Mass conservation was observed to be true for all chemical reactions. In general this is only approximative, because with the advent of relativity and experiments in nuclear and particle physics, mass can be transformed into energy and vice versa, so mass is not always conserved, but part of the more general conservation of mass energy. Conservation of energy, momentum and angular momentum for isolated systems can be found to be symmetries in time, translation, and rotation. Conservation of charge was also realized since charge has never been observed to be created or destroyed, and only found to move from place to place. <laughs> Continuity and transfer Conservation laws can be expressed using the general continuity equation for a conserved quantity can be written in differential form as ρ t equals Minus j display style frac partial rho partial t equals nabla c d o t math b f j, where rho is some quantity per unit volume, j is the flux of that quantity, change in quantity per unit time per unit area. Intuitively, the divergence denoted of a vector field is a measure of flux diverging radially outwards from a point, so the negative is the amount piling up at a point, hence the rate of change of density in a region of space must be the amount of flux leaving or collecting in some region see main article for details. In the table below, the fluxes, flows for various physical quantities in transport, and their associated continuity equations, are collected for comparison. More general equations are the convection diffusion equation and Boltzmann transport equation, which have their roots in the continuity equation. <laughs> Laws of classical mechanics Principle of least action All of classical mechanics, including Newton's laws, Lagrange's equations, Hamilton's equations, etc can be derived from this very simple principle delta s equals delta t 1 t 2 l q q t d t equals 0 Display style delta math call s equals delta int underscore t underscore one caret t underscore two l math bf q math bf dot q t dt equals zero, where s display style math call s is the action, the integral of the Lagrangian l q q t equals t Q T minus V Q Q T display style L math BF Q math BF dot Q T equals T math BF dot Q T V math BF Q math BF dot Q T of the physical system between two times T one and T two. The kinetic energy of the system is T a function of the rate of change of the configuration of the system, and potential energy is V a function of the configuration and its rate of change. The configuration of a system which has n degrees of freedom is defined by generalized coordinates Q equals Q1, Q2, Qn. There are generalized momenta conjugate to these coordinates, P equals P1, P2, Pn, where 
P I equals L Q I display style P underscore I equals frac partial L partial dot Q underscore I the action and Lagrangian both contain the dynamics of the system for all times. The term path simply refers to a curve traced out by the system in terms of the generalized coordinates in the configuration space, i.e. the curve Q t, parameterized by time see also parametric equation for this concept. The action is a functional rather than a function, since it depends on the Lagrangian, and the Lagrangian depends on the path Q t, so the action depends on the entire shape of the path for all times in the time interval from t1 to t2. Between two instants of time, there are infinitely many paths, but one for which the action is stationary to the first order is the true path. The stationary value for the entire continuum of Lagrangian values corresponding to some path, not just one value of the Lagrangian, is required in other words it is not as simple as differentiating a function and setting it to zero, then solving the equations to find the points of maxima and minima etc. Rather this idea is applied to the entire shape of the function, see calculus of variations for more details on this procedure, notice L is not the total energy E of the system due to the difference, rather than the sum E equals T plus V Display style E equals T plus V. The following general approaches to classical mechanics are summarized below in the order of establishment. They are equivalent formulations. Newton's is very commonly used due to simplicity, but Hamilton's and Lagrange's equations are more general, and their range can extend into other branches of physics with suitable modifications. From the above, any equation of motion in classical mechanics can be derived. Corollaries in mechanics: Euler's laws of motion. Euler's equations, rigid body dynamics, corollaries in fluid mechanics equations describing fluid flow in various situations can be derived using the above classical equations of motion and often conservation of mass, energy and momentum. Some elementary examples follow. Archimedes principle, Bernoulli's principle, Poisson's law, Stokes's law, Navier-Stokes equations, Faxon's law. Topic. Laws of gravitation and relativity Topic. Modern laws Special relativity postulates of special relativity are not «laws» in themselves, but assumptions of their nature in terms of relative motion. Often two are stated as «the laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames» and «the speed of light is constant». However the second is redundant, since the speed of light is predicted by Maxwell's equations. Essentially there is only one. The said postulate leads to the Lorentz transformations, the transformation law between two frame of references moving relative to each other. For any four vector a equals lambda a display style a equals lambda a this replaces the Galilean transformation law from classical mechanics. The Lorentz transformations reduce to the Galilean transformations for low velocities much less than the speed of light c. The magnitudes of four vectors are invariants, not «conserved», but the same for all inertial frames i.e. every observer in an inertial frame will agree on the same value, in particular if A is the four momentum, the magnitude can derive the famous invariant equation for mass energy and momentum conservation see invariant mass E 2 equals P C 2 plus M C 2 2 Display style e caret two equals p c caret two plus mc caret two caret two, in which the more famous mass energy equivalence e equals mc two is a special case. General relativity. General relativity is governed by the Einstein field equations, which describe the curvature of spacetime due to mass energy equivalent to the gravitational field. Solving the equation for the geometry of space warped due to the mass distribution gives the metric tensor. Using the geodesic equation, the motion of masses falling along the geodesics can be calculated. 
Gravitomagnetisme a relatively flat spacetime due to weak gravitational fields. Gravitational analogues of Maxwell's equations can be found, the GEM equations, to describe an analogous gravitomagnetic field. They are well established by the theory, and experimental tests form ongoing research. Topic: <laughs> Classical laws. Kepler's laws, though originally discovered from planetary observations, also due to Tycho Brahe, are true for any central forces. Topic: <laughs> Thermodynamics. Newton's law of cooling Fourier's law Ideal gas law, combines a number of separately developed gas laws Boyle's law Charles's law Gay-Lussac's law Avogadro's law, into one how improved by other equations of Statidalton's law of partial pressures Boltzmann equation Carnot's theorem Kopp's law Electromagnetism Maxwell's equations give the time evolution of the electric and magnetic fields due to electric charge and current distributions. Given the fields, the Lorentz force law is the equation of motion for charges in the fields. These equations can be modified to include magnetic monopoles, and are consistent with our observations of monopoles either existing or not existing. If they do not exist, the generalized equations reduce to the ones above, if they do, the equations become fully symmetric in electric and magnetic charges and currents. Indeed, there is a duality transformation where electric and magnetic charges can be rotated into one another and still satisfy Maxwell's equations. Pre-Maxwell lost these laws were found before the formulation of Maxwell's equations. They are not fundamental, since they can be derived from Maxwell's equations. Coulomb's law can be found from Gauss' law electrostatic form and the Biot-Savart law can be deduced from Ampere's law magnetostatic form. Lenz' law and Faraday's law can be incorporated into the Maxwell-Faraday equation. Nonetheless they are still very effective for simple calculations. Lenz's law Coulomb's law, Biot-Savart law, with Lawson's law, Kirchhoff's laws, Joule's law. Topic: Photonics. Classically, optics is based on a variational principle: light travels from one point in space to another in the shortest time. Fermat's principaline geometric optics laws are based on approximations in Euclidean geometry such as the paraxial approximation. Law of reflection Law of refraction, Snell's law in physical optics, laws are based on physical properties of materials. Brewster's angle Malice's law Beer-Lambert law in actuality, optical properties of matter are significantly more complex and require quantum mechanics. Topic. Laws of quantum mechanics Quantum mechanics has its roots in postulates. This leads to results which are not usually called «laws», but hold the same status, in that all of quantum mechanics follows from them. One postulate that a particle or a system of many particles is described by a wave function, and this satisfies a quantum wave equation, namely the Schrödinger equation, which can be written as a non-relativistic wave equation or a relativistic wave equation. Solving this wave equation predicts the time evolution of the system's behavior, analogous to solving Newton's laws in classical mechanics. Other postulates change the idea of physical observables using quantum operators. Some measurements can't be made at the same instant of time. Uncertainty principles. Particles are fundamentally indistinguishable. Another postulate, the wave function collapse postulate, counters the usual idea of a measurement in science. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Radiation laws. Applying electromagnetism, thermodynamics, and quantum mechanics, to atoms and molecules, some laws of electromagnetic radiation and light are as follows. Stefan Boltzmann law Planck's law of black body radiation Wien's displacement law Radioactive decay law Laws of chemistry 
Chemical laws are those laws of nature relevant to chemistry. Historically, observations led to many empirical laws, though now it is known that chemistry has its foundations in quantum mechanics. Quantitative analysis The most fundamental concept in chemistry is the law of conservation of mass, which states that there is no detectable change in the quantity of matter during an ordinary chemical reaction. Modern physics shows that it is actually energy that is conserved, and that energy and mass are related, a concept which becomes important in nuclear chemistry. Conservation of energy leads to the important concepts of equilibrium, thermodynamics, and kinetics. Additional laws of chemistry elaborate on the law of conservation of mass. Joseph Proust's law of definite composition says that pure chemicals are composed of elements in a definite formulation. We now know that the structural arrangement of these elements is also important. Dalton's law of multiple proportions says that these chemicals will present themselves in proportions that are small whole numbers, i.e., 1 to 2 for oxygen, hydrogen ratio in water. Although in many systems, notably biomacromolecules and minerals, the ratios tend to require large numbers and are frequently represented as a fraction. More modern laws of chemistry define the relationship between energy and its transformations. Reaction kinetics and equilibrium equilibrium molecules exist in mixture defined by the transformations possible on the time scale of the equilibrium and are in a ratio defined by the intrinsic energy of the molecules the lower the intrinsic energy the more abundant the molecule Le Chatelier principle states that the system opposes changes in conditions from equilibrium states i.e. there is an opposition to change the state of an equilibrium reaction Transforming one structure to another requires the input of energy to cross an energy barrier, this can come from the intrinsic energy of the molecules themselves, or from an external source which will generally accelerate transformations. The higher the energy barrier, the slower the transformation occurs. There is a hypothetical intermediate, or transition structure, that corresponds to the structure at the top of the energy barrier. The hammond leffler postulate states that this structure looks most similar to the product or starting material which has intrinsic energy closest to that of the energy barrier. Stabilizing this hypothetical intermediate through chemical interaction is one way to achieve catalysis. All chemical processes are reversible law of microscopic reversibility although some processes have such an energy bias, they are essentially irreversible. The reaction rate has the mathematical parameter known as the rate constant. The Arrhenius equation gives the temperature and activation energy dependence of the rate constant, an empirical law. Thermochemistry Joulong Petit Law Gibbs Helmholtz equation Hess's Lagas Las Raoul's law Henry's law chemical transport fix laws of diffusion Graham's law Lamb equation Geophysical laws Archie's law, Bayes Ballot's law, Birch's law, Byerly's law. See also References Further reading External links Physics Formulary, a useful book in different formats containing many or the physical laws and formulae. eformulae.com, website containing most of the formulae in different disciplines. Media related to scientific laws at Wikimedia Commons.